All right, you guys asked for it, so here it is. We're gonna be looking at the SWAT team approach to breaking into entry-level tech jobs. So this is, we're not taking no for an answer, straight out of Tommy Boy. And we're gonna be looking at how to get the attention of hiring managers so that we get more interviews, which is going to lead to more job offers. Is it gonna work 100% of the time? Absolutely not, and we don't need it to. We need to get one or two job offers, that's gonna kick our career off, and then it's off to the races. So let's jump in with step one one of the SWAT team strategy, and that's gonna be knocking on the front door. Knocking on the front door, step one, we are going to apply on LinkedIn or Indeed. We're gonna be on these job boards. If you have another job board you like looking at, awesome, more power to you. Apply there, LinkedIn and Indeed are gonna be the two main ones. Apply on that job board, that's number one. That's table stakes, okay? This is knocking on the front door. We're just doing this to be nice, okay? Apply on LinkedIn or Indeed. That's the job board. Again, it's table stakes. That's probably what you're already doing. Unfortunately, it might be the only thing that you're doing. Step two, knocking on the back door. This one's gonna be too easy too. This is just doing the same thing you just did, except we're gonna go to the company website. We're gonna hop off the job board, LinkedIn, Indeed, whatever it is. We're gonna head over to the company website and we're gonna apply there as well. Why? Because a lot of times those are gonna go direct to the hiring team or the HR company's inbox and they're gonna see those right away when they're reviewing. And so if you look good there, awesome. Also, a lot of companies require that you apply on the company website or they're never gonna see your resume anyway. Again, are you going to get interviews by applying on LinkedIn and then applying on the company website? Probably not, but you have to do it per the company policy. So again, table stakes, step one, step two, knocking on the front door, knocking on the back door. These are things we have to do. Let's get them out of the way. Now we can move on to step three. But before we jump into step three, I need you to do me a favor because I actually want this to work for you. I need you to not a call to action or click my link. I need you to go to like Google Sheets or Excel, probably Google Sheets if you're with it. And I want you to create a spreadsheet, should be really easy. First column A is gonna be the company name. This is where every time you apply for a job, you're gonna write down the company name and column A. Column B, I want you to have probably the company website and any notes that you need. So the company website, the company LinkedIn page, any notes that you have about this application. Column C is basically just gonna be a checkbox column for you to make sure you're doing your part. Column C is gonna be I applied on LinkedIn or Indeed or the job board, okay? So we're gonna check that off. We're gonna do company name, track our notes and their website link for easy access. And then column C, we're just gonna check off we applied on the LinkedIn or Indeed job board. Column D is going to be I applied on the company website. So that's another checkbox column, column D. Column E is going to allow us to move into step three, and we're going to get into that now. But let me just tell you, we're going to need column E, F, and probably G. Yep, we're going to need G as well. So let's just go ahead and make it columns uh, a through G, put the ones in that we have so far, and now let's jump into step three, and that's gonna allow you to start filling out the rest of this Google Sheet. And this is gonna make sure you're applying for every single job with a locked-in strategy, and you're not swaying from the course or taking any shortcuts, and you can hold yourself accountable because all the checkboxes should be checked on this spreadsheet. Item number three is where things are gonna to start to vary from what you typically do. And that's a great thing because typically you don't get job offers. So we are gonna do things that are gonna to lead to job offers and you just have to trust me. I've done this with over a thousand people in the last three years and over 500 in the last 12 months. So just lean into this, know that it works. It's a proven process. I'm not just guessing here. Okay, step number three, we're gonna go back to LinkedIn. We're gonna hop on the company LinkedIn page. So find that company on LinkedIn. I want you to follow the page, not only follow the page, I want you to see if the page is active. Active means they've posted uh, probably once in the last month. If they posted once in the last couple of months, that's still pretty active for a company page, unfortunately. So I would call that active. They posted once in the last month or so. And I would go to their most recent post and I would just comment, like them, leave a meaningful comment. If you don't know how to leave a meaningful comment, copy the text from their post, put it in chat GPT and say, generate a meaningful comment for me to put on this. Put it on there. You're not saying I want a job. You're not saying I applied for your company. You're not saying any of that. You're just following the page and putting some meaningful comments and engaging. This is gonna get you in front of their marketing team. Now the marketing team may not be involved with the hiring that you're looking to get into, but they might be. 
The marketing team's involved with a lot of different departments. They talk to everybody about their processes. They might be fully aware of this job that you applied for. And if they see that you're engaging, you're probably one of the only people engaging on their company profile page. They may not have any other likes or comments. You might be the only one. You've got their full attention when they get on LinkedIn for that next post. They're gonna see you. They're probably gonna look at your profile just to see what's up. And they're gonna realize, hey, shoot, this person actually meets the qualifications for a job that I know is open in another department or our department or something that we're involved in. This is your first foot in the door with the company in a unique way that basically no one else is doing. That is step three, add it to your Google Sheet, check it off, do not skip it, do it. I know it's uncomfortable because you don't do it. Do it, get comfortable with it, it's gonna treat you well. Step number four, and before we get into it, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, the job system is broken, I get it, it is broken. You're absolutely right. It is crazy that we have to go through these five steps to get interviews and job offers. It's crazy, I know, but we're gonna do it because we wanna get job offers, right? Okay, the next one I'm gonna get into is gonna scare you even more than step three. Step four is not for the lighthearted, but we gotta do it, okay? And this is a proven process once again. So step four is what I like to call professional stalking. I mean, professional uh, networking. And what we do here is we're back on that company page on LinkedIn, okay? LinkedIn plays a big part of this. If you think you're gonna land jobs without LinkedIn, bad news, you're, you're very likely not gonna land jobs without LinkedIn. All right, step four, back to the company page on LinkedIn. You're gonna see a little tab, it's called the people tab. It shows you everyone who works at the company. That is a beautiful thing. Now, there's a search box where we can search for people who work at that company by job title. So we're gonna search job titles, like if you're applying for a Salesforce job, you're gonna type in Salesforce or CRM or any job title that you think might be meaningful to the job that you're applying for that might indicate the titles of people in that department. So for example, if you're applying for sales and you're gonna work on the IT team, specifically in the sales department, that would probably mean you need to look for sales operations roles. So look for director of sales, a VP of sales, a sales operations, type those kind of keywords in. Do the same thing if you think it's in support, if you think it's in marketing, depending on what department you think this job is in, go ahead and type in keywords. Why? Because we're gonna connect from people connect with people from that department. And when we do that, we're gonna get closer and closer and closer to the person who's gonna know about this role. Then we're gonna be connected with them and they're gonna know that they're hiring. And because your LinkedIn profile already looks amazing, I'm trusting you, your profile looks amazing. When you connect with these people, they're gonna look at your profile, they're gonna, it's gonna, light's gonna go off for them. They're gonna go, oh my gosh, we're hiring for a, this role. This person seems like an amazing fit. To them, the stars are aligning. You were sent to them from the universe. You know, this was methodical. This was strategic because you have a targeted job search strategy using this approach. So what are we gonna do once we find these people? First, we're gonna connect. I know a lot of you guys are nervous about it. We're just gonna click the connect button. We're going to connect. You can send them a little message and say, hey, I was checking out your LinkedIn profile. I saw some of your posts recently. Awesome stuff. I'd love to be connected. Thanks for taking a look, right? Then you're gonna go to their profile. Same thing you did with the company page. You're gonna take a look at their profile. You're gonna look and see if they're active. What does active mean for a person? That probably means they're posting once a week, once every two weeks, right in there somewhere. That's an active person. You find those active people and just, you know, a little bit of spray and pray in the beginning, like hope that you're hitting the right department. You can check out the job description to get an idea of what department this might fall under. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna connect with them and you're gonna comment on their post and something meaningful. Again, you can go to ChatGPT, copy their post, put it in there, say, tell me something meaningful. Don't say anything about the job. I'm looking for a job, none of that, okay? And we're gonna just comment on their post, like it, uh, connect with them, send them a nice little message saying, hey, I like your post, that's really great stuff. I saw what you posted this week about this. That's awesome, keep it up, I appreciate you. And that's it, we're gonna do that with two or three people from that company. Remember, Google Sheet, add the column. I connected with two to three people from the company. I engaged with them on their post. I sent them a personal message letting them know I appreciated them. Didn't say anything about the job. Check the box, we're done. That was step four. I feel like you need a little break. Yeah, me too. Um, I promise we're almost done here. Hang with me. All right, you made it step five. All we have to do now is pull up our calendar and set a reminder for seven days to follow up with this company, okay? So just quickly pull it up. Put it for like 10 minutes. It shouldn't take but 10 minutes. In seven days, I'm gonna follow up with this company. Put the company name. Don't forget to put the company name or you're gonna screw it up. Just make that the subject of the reminder. So in seven days, I'm gonna follow up with this company. They're gonna be in your Google Sheet. You're gonna know exactly who they are, okay? 
What do you do when you come back to follow up? You rinse and repeat step three and step four. Company page, go look at their posts, see if there's anything new, engage. Step four, go back. If no one's responded to you from the people you connected with, try to find two or three more people to connect with from that company, do the same thing. Now, if people have connected with you, go ahead and, and DM'd you back or responded to your comments, those kind of things. Go back to those initial people, see if they posted again, do the same thing. Now, this time, a little bit different approach. I want you to go to their profile and I want you to say, hey, I saw your post again this week. Another awesome post, great content, I love it. I just noticed you work at this company. I actually applied for that company for this job role. Here's a link. I would love to work there. If you check out my profile, um, I think I'm a perfect fit. Say it, say perfect. I know you don't like to say it, say it. I'm a perfect fit for this role. I think I would be amazing if you could connect me with the right person, if you could be a reference, anything you could do, I would gladly and highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. No hard feelings either way. I appreciate the post you're putting out. Can't wait to see what you put out next. That's it. Rinse and repeat that every single week with consistency. Do this with 15 or 20 companies every week. When you get into rhythm, you're going to be able to pull these off in about 15 minutes each, and you're going to get interviews and you're going to get job offers. If you want me to dive in on any specific topic, just comment. Let me know what you'd like to hear more about, and I'll dive in with more deep dive videos on that type of content to make sure you guys are getting more job offers.